just starting on the back. Reach your arms up and over your head, lengthen out, pointing the toes. I need a lot of length in the body here. And then exhale, bring your arms down at your side, let your feet fall nice and wide. So we're going to start here as though we were starting in Shavasana. We're going to take a few moments here to get acquainted with our breath. I also want you to notice how your body feels exactly right now. So when we make our way back to this space at the end of our session, then you can have a little bit of a comparison as to the start of your practice and how you finish the practice, how the body feels differently from head to toe. So as you're resting here, let the body weigh heavy. You pair two, you can always have one hand on your heart, one hand onto the belly. Start to acquaint yourself with your ujjayi breath, taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Now, if you need to take a few breaths in to where you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, you can always. Just get acquainted that way and slowly drift into those ujjayi breaths. So as the body rests here and is softening and yet preparing for our practice, notice how the ebb and flow of breath. Notice the movements in and out of the lungs. Begin to take a bend to the knees. And whenever you drag your heels onto the mat and settle the soles of the feet down. Blink your eyes open and settle your lower back into the mat and begin to rock your knees gently from side to side. So if you have a tight or stiff lower back, you're definitely going to feel this just from the simple sway of the hips from side to side. Uh, right back to center. Toe heel the feet in so they're hip distance apart. Arms come down at your side. Lower that lower back right into the mat. So we're going to just bring our frontal hip bones up towards the lower rib cage. And I have you send your arms up and over your head. Interlace your fingers, press the palms away. Bring your biceps into your ears. We're going to hover the arms over our mats, and then slowly pick your feet up, bring your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around the top of your shins, curl into a little ball, and squeeze it. So now we're starting to wake up our abdominals, and then slowly release on down, bring the feet so they are, again, just hip distance apart. Arms can fall into cactus. Let's sway the knees again from side to side. So you might notice right away if there is that tension, that tightness into the lower back. Be gentle with yourself in your tree. Pausing at center. Let's again squeeze into a ball. We're going to really bring ourselves up. Good. I'm going to have you start to rock up and down on your spine. And you can pause at the top. That's going to start to activate and wake that core up. Hands can rest right behind the knees. And then you can pause and hold. And then slowly make your way into a seated position. Heads of the shoulders drawing on the back. Ah, exhale out the mouth and let's pull this right shoulder back and then left. Find length into the spine, chin stays 
parallel with your mat. Inhale, exhale, dip your left shoulder down. Again, getting into the lower back. So you're going to do a nice long stretch here. And then slowly coming on up. Let's dip that opposite shoulder on over, getting into the lower back. Good. Coming right back to center. Let's go ahead. Make some big upper body movements here. So we're going to dip down. We're going to get the shoulders involved. So because of all the walking that I've been doing, I feel a little more tension and tightness into my lower back. So you may be feeling the same thing. Maybe it's not necessarily from walking or any kind of hiking or anything, but maybe just because you experience lower back tension. And then let's just sway on over to our right. Back to center and to the left. Good, and right back to center. Heads of the shoulders on back. Let's let those palms open open to receiving this morning's practice and inhale, send your arms up and over your head. Let's bring the palms together. A bend into the elbows, keeping the elbows in to the midline rather than flailing out to the side. Our knees may want to lift up. We're gonna resist that temptation and keep the knees lowering down. Draw the head back into the forearms. Good, and then reach those fingertips. Up, exhale, cactus your arms out to the side. Nice big open heart. Lifted, gaze can go up and then send the fingertips back up. Good, and exhale, bring your arms out to the side. Let's go ahead and circle out the wrist. Good, and then flex the palms as though you're pushing a wall away. Then I'm going to have you bring your scapulas together on your back. Inhale, send the palms on up as though you are pushing the ceiling away or you're pressing the palms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands right out in front of you. Let's interlace our fingers. Press the palms away. Now we're going to make like we're stirring a big pot of soup. We're going to bring our arms in towards us and we're just going to make big, big circles here. And then go ahead and reverse. Good, and press those palms away. Inhale to lift up. Exhale again to cactus the arms out to the side. A little tilt on over to your right and settle the fingertips down in line with your hip. Again, we're gonna keep this knee down. We don't want it hiking up. So don't worry about how far over you are coming. It's more about the stretch, not so much about how far you're reaching. I'm going to ask that you gently draw your rib cage away in the opposite direction of where your fingers are pointing so you can get a nice big stretch there, creating more space for the lungs. And inhale, slowly come back up, practice arms. Inhale, exhale, that little tilt on over to the side, setting the fingertips down in line with your hip and reach over. Again, a gentle press of the rib cage away, throat is open, feel the difference between the two sides. And then slowly coming on up. So that's one thing I want you to be mindful of and paying attention to is always what's each side of the body feeling and what is it doing. It could be a lot different than the other side. And we want to nurture that side of the body. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're going to take a nice gentle twist. So it may not be so deep quite yet as we look back and over our shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, and then a slow unwind as you lengthen the fingertips on up and you gently twist on over to the other side. You look back and over the shoulder and again, noticing the difference between the two sides. And then slowly unwind and reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart. And we're going to walk the fingertips out in front of us. Inch your hips back a little bit, so feel free to walk them back, lengthen out in front of you, draw the chest down. Don't worry, again, how far down you come. So the good thing is it's never a competition. You only have yourself to work with, and you draw those hips back. I'm going to draw my hips a little back, back a little bit further 
and I'm going to just really feel the openness that I can get into my lower back, allowing the head to hang heavy. And then inhale, looking at travel the fingertips on over to your left. So again, we're getting into that lower back. You can have to really lengthen your fingertips away, maybe even hovering the arm off of the mat as you lengthen. But remember, keeping that right hip down. And then slowly making your way back and around to center. Let's float on over to the other side. And again, noticing the difference. We're onto the fingertips. That arm is hovering over the mat. And then slowly making your way back to center and folding. Sliding the heels of your hands right back towards you and inhale, reach up. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper into that twist as you twist back and around. So see if you can't get a little bit deeper into that twist. Maybe a hand is going to come back and you're going to catch the inner thigh. This is just an option. And then slowly unwind and reach up. And that's how to twist to the other side. And again, be nurturing to the side of the body that might feel a little more stiff. And then go ahead and slowly unwind. Let's draw our knees in towards our chest. Send the hands back behind you. Bring the soles of the feet together. Nice inner thigh opening. Walk the hips back and gently pull on forward. So don't worry again about how far down you come. It's more about the stretch that you're getting. So into the lower back again, inner thighs, and waking up the hips. And then slowly coming on up. Let's bring our knees in together. Swing those legs around at three child's pose. As we bring the big toes together, and we have those knees apart, we send the hips right back into the heels. We're gonna Lower on down. So this is a place that you can always come to during the practice if you need it to. And then slowly coming on up, making your way into top of the table. So we're going to stack our bones here. We have our shoulders over the elbows, over the wrists, and the hips are directly over our knees. We're going to move through some cat cow stretches as you round into the spine. And gently press the legs. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Nice subtle movements here as you just continue to wake up the spine. And now connecting the navel in towards the spine to wake up the abdominals. And slowly. Let's take just a couple of more. So inhaling and exhaling. Good, and then right back to center. Let's go ahead and send just the right foot back. So we're gonna get a stretch through the calf here. You can take your gaze up at the top of the mat. You're gonna wanna engage this quadriceps in the skin active. And then go ahead and release that knee down. Let's go ahead, take the left leg back, pressing through the heel, getting a nice long stretch through that calf. Good, then settle on down and bring your forearms on down to the mat. Send those hips up high. So we're gonna bring the hips up high. We're gonna bring the chest down nice and low. Good, slowly come on up. Turn those palms down, stack the shoulders right over the elbows. We're going to send both legs back for a forearm plank. So we're going to just pause here. Don't hold the breath, though, so we're not pausing in the breath. Inhaling the next time. Good job. And then let's add some strength here as we press up into a full plank. So now heels back, heart forward. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice engagement here. And then let's slowly pick our hips up and back and come to our first downward facing dog. So we're going to pedal out the feet here, bending one knee at a time, walking in place. So as we hang the head heavy, we're walking it out with a nice long slide. And we're going to look up in between our hands, step or lightly hop to the top 
of your mat and inhale. Look at halfway so the hands can come either just below the knees or your fingertips out in front of you onto the mat. Exhale to pull forward, your head will be heavy. You're going to really draw your knee open towards your spine. You create some space there and then slowly roll all the way to standing as we go. Pull, lift up and send your arms up and over your head. And exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Send the arms on up. You can stay right where you are at the top of your mat. I'll turn just a little bit so you can see what we're doing. And then we're going to lean on over to one side. It won't matter because we're going to both sides. And slowly come back to center. Bend into the elbows. Good. Inhale, reach the fingers, hips up. And exhale on over to the other side. Good, and right back to center. Let's go ahead, bend into those elbows. Exhale, send the hands all the way down. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, let's take both feet back. Come into the plank. You can go modified chaturanga or slowly lower down chaturanga through the dish of cobra and then slowly pressing back into downward facing dog and just walk it out. Bending one knee at a time. There you go. That step or light hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale to pull forward. Firm down, rise all the way to standing. And exhale. Oh, hands to your heart. Let's take that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold and forward. Inhale, look halfway, looking at both feet back. Take your chaturanga to Nasana, come through to maybe a full cobra or up dog. Press back into downward facing down. Let's send our left leg behind us. Just go with a nice figure eight motion. And then waking up the hip and then settling the foot down. Switching sides, right leg and go ahead. Figure eight motion and settle the foot down. Shift forward, plank. Chaturanga, Cobra, or up dog. Press back into downward facing dog. Good job, everyone. There you go with this step. Maybe a light hop to the top of your mat. Let's look up halfway. Exhale to pull forward, firm down, rise all the way standing. And exhale. Hands to your heart. So you may notice. That your cardio is starting to pick up a little bit. So those lungs might be doing a little bit of huffing and puffing, puffing. All right, let's move on. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let's settle down into a chair pose. So the arms can go up and over your head, so right by the ears, or you can bring your hands to your heart or even into a cactus position. So whatever feels best for you. All right, so as you're settling down, you're Letting the glutes work, and then exhale to pull forward. Inhale, looking at the halfway. Exhale, take both feet back. Go chaturanga, look through to cobra or up dog, and press back into downward facing dog. If you're doing a great job, send that left leg back and behind you. Step the foot in between the hands and catch your bearings here, and then send the arms up and over your head. Good, exhale, fold forward, hover over the top of the thigh. Send that heel back. Good, inhale to reach that back. Exhale, send the arms down. Take that left leg back. Chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and press back. And down and facing back. Extend the right leg behind. Step the foot in between the hands. A full lift up. Exhale, hover over the top of the thigh. Inhale to lift back up. Great balance, everyone. And send the hands all the way down. Leg comes back. Chaturanga. Through to cobra or up dog. Press back into downward. 
to the right knee, we'll twist it out. You have the option to stay here. So maybe you're gonna drop your fingertips down and reach the opposite arm up. Right back to the side, namaste. Come to center. Let's take it to the other side. Same thing, you can drop the fingertips down, reach the opposite fingertips up. Good, back to side namaste. Right back to center. Exhale to fold forward. Look up halfway. Exhale, both feet back. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Press back into downward facing dog. Sending the left leg behind you. Feel free to pan it over. You want to be mindful that we don't collapse into the right shoulder. Slowly coming through. Swivel your back foot down. Windmill your arms open. Define your Vajrasana two. Warrior two. So we're sinking down here. So great job. Uh, let's reach back for a reverse. So you can slide the hands down the back leg. Make sure you don't lean into the leg, or you can bring your hand back and around. Let's reach back for reverse. Good, exhale. Soften the left elbow to the top of that thigh and reach over. And slowly come right back up to find warrior two. Exhale, send the arms all the way down, left leg back, chaturanga, through to cobra or up dog, press back, into downward facing dog. Taking it to that opposite side, send that right leg open, open it up, no collapsing into the left shoulder, and step the foot in between the hands, back foot swivels down, Get a rear view now, coming into warrior two. Noticing the difference between the two sides. Sending the fingertips down or wrapping the arm back and around and reach back. Good, exhale, bring the elbow to the top of the thigh and send the arm out and over your ear. Good. slowly come back up to find warrior two. You're doing a great job, exhale. Slowly come down and vinyasa. Good job. Press back, down the facing dog. Here we go with a step, maybe a light hop to the top of your mat. Look up halfway. Exhale to pull forward. Firm down. Slowly roll on up so we take it nice and slow. Nice exercise. All right, good job with that flow. 
we're gonna work our way into some balancing. So you're gonna find your way to Tadasana, and you can stay exactly where you were. Tadasana is our mountain pose where we bring our big toes together. We have a little bit of a sliver into the heels. So I have you neutralize the pelvis. You're gonna firm down through your left foot. You're gonna either kickstand or bring that foot to the calf or maybe into the inner thigh. So we're coming into just tree pose with the legs. So you choose where it's going to be best for you, but I want you to challenge yourself. So don't just kickstand when you know you can bring it to your calf. We wanna avoid the knees. So do not place your foot onto your knee and be mindful here. So I don't want my hip popping out to the side. I want everything drying and nice to the midline. Bring your hands to your heart. Smile because it feels good. The balance feels good. So you're strengthening the ankle here, the calf, and your core. So especially if you have your focal point out in front of you, got nice engaged abdominals, and of course, you're breathing. Yeah, let's go ahead and send our arms just into a cactus position. So they're like goal posts. Arms are out to the side. Good. Go with a full lift up of your arms as you lengthen through your fingertips. Opening across the chest. Steady the balance. Great job. I know we've been here for a little while. And hands back to the heart. Let's bring the knee forward, soften the foot down, and walk it out. So you may need to come to the top of each foot. Give it a little stretch through the ankle. You may hear some snap crackles and pops. So if you don't hear mine, and if you were here, you would really hear my ankles popping. All right, let's switch it on over to the other side. Try to duplicate what you did on this side, so maybe you were at the calf, maybe you were at the inner thigh. Again, let's be mindful of our alignment that we're not popping the hip out to the side. So it's not a sway, we're right to center, leg opens up, heads to the shoulders are back. We've got nice steady posture here. Noticing the difference between the two sides. So it's typical that one side of our body is a little bit stronger than the other. And then we'll go ahead and open our arms into that cactus position, that of goal pose. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, a full lengthening up of the fingertips. Reach high, settle the shoulders. If you lose your balance, start over. No big deal. Great job, exhale, hands back to the heart. Let's send that knee forward. Great job, and walk in place. All right, we're gonna get an opportunity to do a, one more balancing posture. It's coming from tree, but we're gonna come into a leaning tree. So hopefully our winds aren't blowing too heavy and we will be able to stay right in position with our leaning tree. We're gonna stand into, go ahead, either side. Okay, so maybe it's your dominant leg. And then we're gonna inhale, bring our arms into a cactus position. Good, send the fingertips up. Now as we make some movement here, be aware, cognizant of the core, drop the fingertips down towards your knee. You're gonna lift from the side body and you're gonna lean over. So we're into this leaning tree. It does challenge you. Good, and Slowly coming on up. And exhale right back to center, knee forward and release down. Good. Shake it out, maybe round out the hips a little bit. That might feel good. Shake it back and forth. All right, right back, other side. Let's bring that foot on up. Hands to the heart. Right into those cactus arms. Good, sending the fingertips up. 
exhale, fingers, hips down, and lean over. So it's always helpful if you have a good focal point out in front of you, that's a good, helpful guide. Great job. And reach on up. Exhale, hands to your heart and knee forward. All right, we'll walk it out. So thanks for helping me work on my balance this morning. All right, so a little bit more into the hips, rounding out. Good, and shake it out. All right, so now we're gonna come down to the mat and we're gonna work our core. So you know that that's my favorite part of the body to work. Inhale, let's reach our arms up. Exhale, hold all the way forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, we've already been into a plank pose. So let's meet back here. Heels back, heart forward. Engage those quadriceps. So you have three major muscle groups working here. The quadriceps, the abdominal region, and your deltoids, those shoulder muscles. So we don't want to have to bear it all into the shoulders, or all into the legs, or all into the core. Use all three. Good job, and slowly. Lower the knees down, swing those legs around, and make your way onto your back. So should you really engage the core as you're lowering on down, lower down, down, good job, arms down at your side, heels slide in towards the glutes, knees pointing up, no swaying of the knees, hold an imaginary block or ball in between those knees, let's drive those hips up and squeeze the glutes. Good, and exhale on down. Let's go ahead and send those legs on straight. All right, so you're either going to support the back of the head so that the elbows would come wide. You'd have an imaginary orange or lemon in between your chest and your chin. The arms may come at your side, or if for the most ultimate, ultimate challenge, you're going to reach the fingertips up. All right, so you choose. So we're going to find where that is, and we're going to pulse that for 25. So it's going to be a pulse, two, lift. Your breath is going to change a little bit here. As you're exhaling at the top on the pulse, Let's go 10 more. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You're doing a great job. Here's 3, 2, last one. Good job. Hands back and behind your knees. Squeeze on in a nice release into the lower back. Good and settle. Let's be on down. We're going to bring our Right leg over the left. We're going to guardian dust and wrap the legs. So we're going to eagle wrap the legs. Maybe the foot doesn't come all the way around. That's fine. Maybe we're just going to cross. Right? You have the option to also go with an eagle wrap of the arms, guardian dust and wrap of the arms, or the elbows come out to the side for the support of your head. We're going to send the toes forward, send the fingertips back. We're going to meet in the middle, and we're going to squeeze up and lower down. We're going for 15. 10 more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. Arms out to the side. Feet come down. Arms down at your side. Press the hips up in to bridge. Exhale, lower the hips down. Now let's take it on over to the other side, keeping the momentum. We're so close to restorative. We're almost there. And then maybe crossing that left arm on over the top. Fingers, hips, reach back, toes forward, and meet in the middle, and squeeze. Five more. Good job. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Good job. Unwind. Good. Oh. Now let's send those legs out in front of us. Bring your arms up and over your head. You're going to stretch out. That's going to be a great stretch into the abs and then into the back. Good job. And arms side up the side. Draw the heels in. Roll on over to either side. Slowly press yourself on up. Bring the soles of the feet around together. Take an inhale. We're going to exhale, fold forward. And slowly come on up. So the very much anticipated part of our practice today. We're not quite to Shavasana yet, but we are going now into our restorative portion of practice. This is where you're going to bring your props to the mat and use anything that might be helpful for you to feel comfortable in our restorative poses. So the first pose we're going to do, since we were working on some twists and getting into the spine, we're going to further that and do a little bit of restorative twisting, right? So I have yoga props, but not everybody has those at home. So if you have some sort of cushion and or pillow at home, you're gonna to wanna to bring something like that, maybe even it's a couch cushion uh, to the mat with you, and then maybe a towel or a blanket that you're going to fold, because we're gonna place this blanket in between our knees so that we can even out our hips. This is a really good one for getting into the spine, and there's some little minute cues here that are really going to help you be successful into this posture. So one thing that we want to do is we never want to leave space between our prop and us. So we want to snug the bolster and or cushion or pillows right against our hip. I've got my knees to the side and I'm going to even out my hips and make sure that I have a blanket that goes right in between my knees. When we go into this twist, we want to make sure that we're getting a full twist of the body the full chest rests over the top of, of the pillows or whatever you're using. So you wouldn't just twist and come onto your side and be here. Okay, that's not what we want to do. We want to go with a full twist. We want to be able to turn our head maybe in the opposite direction of our knees, which is going to give us a deeper spinal, um, a deeper uh, cervical spinal twist. Or that might be a little too intense for you. It's where you twist, you inhale, you exhale, lower down, and maybe you're gonna turn your gaze in the same direction of where your knees are pointing. So go ahead, follow me there. Take a deep breath in, go with a full surrender. So you shouldn't be gripping on, you should be letting go. Yes, see here. And we are in these poses anywhere from two to three minutes. Notice as you rest here, where can you release further tension or stress? Do your best not to fidget. Close your eyes and soften
might start to bring some awareness from the palms down. The strength of your upper body will allow you to come on up. And then slowly release. Bring that blanket out in between your knees. Nestle your back into your top and just go with some circles here. All right, and come right back to center. So we'll even it out and take it on over to the other side. So the fact that I get to do this with you this morning is such a special treat for me. So again, prop comes right into the hip, blanket comes right in between the knees. We take a deep breath in, we go for that twist over the bolster. Again, you can turn your gaze going in the opposite direction of your knees or the gaze goes right in the same direction as here. And you rest here. No gripping on. Maybe the palms are up, maybe they're down. Slowly turn the palms down, drawing yourself up, taking your time to come out of the pose, removing any of your props, especially that leg in between the knees. Come around, maybe get some nice little upper body circles and movement here. Uh, and right back to center. So good job. You may notice some more opening into the spine. The next pose we'll do is we're going to just move, if you have that cushion, you can move that cushion off to the side. You're going to need either two blankets or maybe a couple of towels. You're going to roll them enough 
to where this is going to be a good opening across the mid back, so right about here. So for us ladies, that would be just at the base of your bra strap. So you're going to roll it to a height that you're going to feel is going to be comfortable for you. So too high is going to make your back bend much deeper. If it's too low, it's less of a back bend. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that blanket and your towel, and you're going to have it rolled to a height that's comfortable for you. You can always use a second blanket or towel for your head. This space here is for your arms. So I'm going to rest back. I'm going to fold back. So now to see right away how I have full chest open. I have options with my legs. So I can crisscross in front. I can bring the soles of my feet together for a deeper hip opener. Or I can send my legs straight. Now for me, preferably, I just like to go up and crisscross. Then I bring my arms out to the side and more of a cactus position. I like to tilt my head back a little bit here. One, it's nice for my thyroid. And two, I get a nice, um, I guess you could say clearing of my sinuses because it helps with any sort of drainage or if you've got allergy problems. So this is good. So you take a deep breath in. Exhale. You surrender and you allow yourself to have the opening happen. Just let it occur. Making space into the thoracic spine area and to the upper back. Slowly begin to take a bend into your knees, easing out of the pose. Bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Roll to either side. And slowly come on up. So we've done a lot into the spine today. All right, so you may 
want to make your way to do some cat cow stretches, so you can do that because that's going to open everything up again. So whatever is going to make you feel best, and then go ahead and release from there. We're going to take our last restorative posture before we make our way to Shavasana. This posture is where we're going to take uh, either your cushion, pillows, bolster. We're going to elevate it high enough to where you have this sensation of your feet dangling over something, okay? So you can always have a blanket for your head. We're going to position ourselves to where at the knee creases is where we would come right to those pillows or bolster. We're going to rest back, adjust the pillow or the Blanket for your head. Your arms are going to come out to the side. This is just going to take a load off that lower back. This should feel really, really good. You could round out your ankles a little bit, do a little scrunch of the toes, point and flex, and then just let the feet fall out to the side. Relax into the pelvis. Take a deep breath in, go with a Big exhale up. Settle in here. <coughs> Excuse me.
legs slowly start to bend into the knees. Tuck them in towards your chest. Rock to either side. Gently bring yourself on up. Move any of the props that you brought with you off to the side. And now we'll come into our traditional Shavasana, however that looks for you. I always bring a little bit of essential oil to the mat with me. So I'm gonna take a little dab of my lavender oil, place it into my hands, rub the palms together. Down into my Shavasana. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your arms down at your side. Let your feet fall wide and notice how we're coming right back to where we started. Take in and notice as to how different the body feels versus an hour ago. Out of your head to the tips of your toes. Allow yourself to smile. Being grateful for your health. Grateful that you can make it to the mat today. Rest here peacefully and shavasana. All right, slowly rock your head from side to side. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a bend into your knees, hug them in towards your chest. Sending either arm up and over your head, roll to either side. Slowly come on up. Inhale, bring your arms up and over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart, chin in towards your chest. 
And I thank each of you so much for being here with me this morning. I'm grateful to guide you and wishing each of you a happy, healthy, safe rest of your day. Namaste.